What up, homies? Today I'm making my spicy bison habanero chili. Chili's a very popular food. People take that chili very serious. I like to make several different types of chili, but I think this was my favorite. And it's influenced by a restaurant I went to when I was performing in Greeley, Colorado. It's got a little bison in it, some spicy habaneros. It's really delicious. I came home from that tour so inspired I had to come home and make my own version. That's what we're doing today. We're making spicy chili. Warning, this is not for children under the age of five. This chili's hot, it will make you fire and cry. And then afterwards, we'll go warm up a bowl just to taste it again and just suffer through the pain. I'm Ritz, I'm a starving artist. Get a yeah, let's make it. Cheers. All right, let's make some chili. Start with my onions. You know, people are crazy about the chili. My brother Dave, he makes a great chili. My wife's sister Emma makes a delicious chili. Mine's sweet and spicy. Some people don't like a sweet chili. Some people don't like a spicy chili. This doesn't blow your head off spicy though. It's just take a bite and be like, mmm, that's great. And then your face, then your eyebrows start sweating a little bit. Start getting a little sweat. But that's good though, feel the heat. Feel the heat. Is there any kind of onion you want? Dice them up. And the onions are not making me cry today. They're playing nice. So they know they're going to a big old pot of spicy chili. Put it on the plate. Me some plies, which just means everything has its place. It's a French term. Everything has its place. They teach you that in culinary school. I wouldn't know. I haven't been. But I'd like to someday. See what happens. I'm like 65. <laughs> Next, some green pepper. This is my favorite ingredient in chili, green pepper. I like it in meatloaf too. I like it in a lot of things. Western omelet. I kind of want to cut these a little thicker so you taste the pepper. Kind of like when you're making a uh, sausage and pepper sandwich. You don't want to cut your peppers too fine and they kind of disappear. You want to be able to see the pepper, taste the pepper so you can see I'm cutting it in thicker strips than I normally would. So just nice little squares. About that size. It's perfect. Swag. Swag. And it's dark out and he's wearing sunglasses. It's the one day he don't wear sunglasses. <laughs> hey, never fear. Next, I'm gonna put in a yellow pepper. If you don't have yellow pepper, no big deal, not a problem. If you got a red pepper, use a red pepper. They got a slightly different flavor than the green pepper. You need it a little sweeter. Plus, the color's nice. Looks nice in the dish, so let's chop this one up. It doesn't have to be as thick as the green pepper. I'm gonna dice these up. All right, so we got our bell pepper chopped our yellow and our green bell pepper. What do y'all think I'm gonna put in there next? A jalapeno. I always use a jalapeno in a lot of my recipes. I mean, it really is my favorite ingredient, I think. I love jalapeno. I think if I have a restaurant, maybe I'll call it Johnny Jalapeno. Just so everybody knows, everything's gonna have a little kick to it when they come in. Don't go taking a name, man. So we're just gonna dice these up as well. Seeds and all. Clientel It's Ritz. Woo. I appreciate that. How much I owe you, man? Right there. Man, just like, you know, a cigarette. <laughs> That's dope. Right. Sticker run. Sorry, I wasn't Where's the limit where I am? Dun, 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 dun. It's time for the start of the show. The habanero. These things don't play around. They got some heat to them. Oh, I know there's all these scorpion peppers and ghost peppers and all that, but this is the original bad in the pepper world right here. The trip to Greeley, Colorado at the restaurant I was eating at, I was, I kept eating and I was like, what is that? I knew it was bison in the chili, but I was tasting it. And it was habanero. We're cutting this up, seeds and all, two of them. Now this, I'm gonna finely dice. You definitely don't want anybody to get a real huge bite of habanero. You wanna get that flavor in there, that heat in there. And the heat's kind of like an after, after sizzle. Hey, eating hot stuff make you smile. I used to work at uh, this bar called Happy Hour. We were really slow and I'd sit in the back all day long. When I was having a bad day, I'd actually eat some hot sauce. So when you eat spicy stuff, it brings out the serotonin in your body and your body, you start feeling good, you smile real quick. It's, it's a fact, it's a proven fact. So eat some spicy food and make you smile a little bit. Make everybody at the table laugh, it's fun. You know, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna let one of these just float in the pot of chili. I'm gonna put a little crack in it, let it vent. I'm going all the way in today. I want to taste that habanero. I know y'all think this is crazy, 
and you're like, nah, I've never tried that. It's not, you should try it. The flavors work out really well. Hey, and after you're done, wash your hands. Wash the cutting board. <laughs> Don't cut in your kids like a sandwich on here, peanut butter and jelly after you've been cutting up habanero. So now we're gonna cut up some garlic. Do about four cloves of garlic. I got a whole head here. I'm gonna smash it to your garlic face. Some garlic in there with the onions. All that just starts developing. Nice, savory flavor. Everybody starts smelling garlic. Like, what's, what smells good? It's garlic. So I got my spice mix right here for my chili rub. Chili rub. Shout out to Tech Nine, the whole strange crew. Chili powder, ancho chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, coriander, a whole bunch of other stuff. Lift it right here. This is my chili rub right here. Sweet and spicy. A lot of flavors. Okay, so I got my ground bison. I used to use turkey, but then I realized just the flavor of bison is so much better. Um, you can taste it a lot more. It has a lot more flavor. It's very lean. I think everybody needs a little bit more bison in their diet. And I got my favorite habanero hot sauce. Some Ocho Rios habanero hot sauce. It's good in Jamaican food. It's also good with this chili. Let's go make some. It's flashback. Oh my God, thank you so yeah. much. I don't know my shoe, I guess. Where do you want me to put it at? Right here. Oh my God, thank you so much. Awesome, I ate with you at There we go. Jim's, awesome. What's your name? Gariel. Cool, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet yeah, you. Nice I to love meet all you. the work you do. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so I got my nice ceramic cast iron pot heating up. I'm gonna put some oil in here, a little canola oil. And we just dump in our bison. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. That's what you wanna hear. You wanna hear that sizzle? Some salt and pepper. We just wanna brown the meat, kinda of grind it up. Smell that bison too. Bison has like a distinct smell. You want your bison nice and ground up. I'm not gonna ground it too fine. I do want some chunks in there so you can taste it. Started off at a medium high heat. I turned the heat down just a tad. Got two bay leaves. Gotta remove them after it's done. It's easy to find them. They're not gonna break down. They are not edible. Time to add the onions and peppers. Spice it up a little bit. Everything in the pot. Here we go. Here's all the flavor. This little guy hopped right in the pot. Boop. So we're gonna stir that up. Give it a nice stir. I'm gonna add about half of my seasoning mix. My chili rub. Now I'm starting to smell like chili in here. You can just smell it in here, the flavors are crazy. You gotta try it, your whole house is gonna smell great. They gotta cook down, the onions and peppers gotta soften up a little bit. We're gonna basically put a lid on the pot, let it steam for about five minutes or so. Every two minutes or so, we'll stir it. Just let the magic happen. ABC in here. Oh, fuck shit. You need to go get a massage. Dude, I'm fucked. Okay, you can see it's steaming. Steaming and I'm dreaming of eating it too. So let's lift up the lid and see what we got going on in here. See if our onions and peppers are softened up. Oh man, it smells good. Getting a habanero facial. Now we're ready to add one can of tomato paste. I'm gonna kind of thicken it up. Let it cook in here. A couple minutes. Cook out that raw tomato paste taste. We cooked our tomato paste for about two minutes. Now we're gonna add a little beer. I'm gonna put about a cup in. And then we're gonna get in here with our spoon and scrape up the brown bits from the bottom. I'm gonna let the beer cook for a second. The rest of it, I'm gonna drink. 80s movie style. Do you wanna take it? Some of prosthetic, of course. There's the metal sharpening. Here, pick where you want. Uh, do you have something like a hold? I'm a little shaky, man. Nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm so getting the yeah. laminated. Yeah, that's dope. Oh my god. We got one big 28 ounce can of tomato sauce. It's right there. I'm gonna pour that right in. We have two cans of diced tomatoes. I didn't drain them, anything, just with the juices. One can of dark red kidney beans. Hot chili beans, as if we need more heat. Arguably my favorite bean, the black bean. Three different types of beans, dark red kidney beans, black beans, hot red chili beans. We got about three big heaping tablespoons of chipotle puree. They're just chipotles in a can that I pureed in a blender with some water. Put the chipotle puree in there. Just gonna give it that smoky taste. Then we're gonna put four tablespoons of our Ocho Rios habanero hot sauce or whatever habanero hot sauce you have. This is just gonna intensify that habanero flavor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Then we're gonna add the other half of our spice mix. Some salt and pepper. And now we're gonna give it all a stir. 
That's looking good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it start to come to a boil. Just the way you start seeing a little bloop, 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 where it starts burping at you. Then we're gonna lower the heat to a medium low heat, cover with the lid, cook it for at least 15 minutes. I mean, this could go for two hours, three hours, four hours. It'll taste even better tomorrow, but I'm not gonna wait two, three hours. I want my 30 minutes, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, my chili's been chilling now for about 20 minutes on low heat, simmering. Let's see what's looking like. Ooh, that's looking good. Yum. You always got a taste for seasoning. It's good. Here's a secret ingredient. Shout out to my boy Dave. Dave calls himself the Pepper Whisperer. He makes his great seasoning as a habanero powder. You can get it at davesdevilpowder.com. This is not a shameless plug. Dave did not ask me to do this. Doesn't even know I'm making this right now. This stuff is great. A little bit goes a long way. Got some brown sugar in there. I gotta add some white sugar at the end just to even out all the flavors. So one tablespoon, me two, two and a half. A little bit more on my hot sauce. Right at the last minute so you can really taste it. I lower my heat all the way to low. Give that a stir, let that sugar dissolve. I'm gonna taste it, see if it needs any salt. That's good. Woo! Got a kick. Wakes you up, makes you smile. Let's put it in a bowl. Mm, look at that. That looks great. I'm so excited to try my chili because it smells great. Got to garnish it up a little bit. This is how I like my chili. I like some nice sharp cheddar cheese on top, some sour cream, some green onion. I'm going to get my box grater, press some cheddar. Nice sharp cheddar cheese too. Top this off with a lot of cheese. Some of it's going to be cold. The contrast is what you're looking for. Some of it's going to melt. Oh yeah. A little dollop of sour cream. I like it a lot. Don't go in here with your spoon and stir that sour cream in and blend it. The goal is to have that temperature change, that nice cool sour cream will cool you off from the sweet and spicy chili, the melted cheese. If you stir it around, you're not gonna catch that feeling, if I'm supposed to be. Eat it how you wanna eat it, that's just my advice. Sprinkle it with some nice scallions, go over the top. Now that is a nice bowl of chili. Drum roll, it's time to taste it, let's do it. A little sour cream, a little cheese, perfect bite, a little green onion. And your mouth gives an applause. Right now, I'm so happy. My mouth is saying, thank you so much. My tongue is not on fire. It's just exploding. My taste buds are just tingling. It's delicious. Everything goes together well. If you like flavorful food, something sweet, something spicy, try this chili. I know everybody makes the chili their own way. It's something I discovered in Colorado and brought home, made it my own. Make it your own. Try it out. And if you know somebody who doesn't like spicy food, tell them it's not spicy and make them have a bite. Hey, I'm Ritz. I'm the starving artist. Peace out, y'all. See y'all next time. Uh, 7.30. It's drinking time. I thought it was like 6.30. We're good to go. It's like orange juice in the morning. <laughs>